Scorpio. For some of you, there is an energy where you're kind of going to start letting go of something. And you're going to kind of wing it. <clears throat> you're going to wing something. And this is adventurous energy. For some of you, this is travel plans. This could be just um, serendipity. And I want to say maybe it's like unexpected. It's like you just kind of say, hey, I'm going to take some time off. Or I just, you get the, the travel bug is what I'm feeling here. But adventurous energy. There is a strong um, new beginning um, starting over in a way, but I do see that and you're kind of more carefree about it. So some of you taking a leap of faith this week. So I do feel that energy as well, which also indicates to me, just don't make quick decisions. Okay. So I do feel that energy. Um, there is an energy here with matters of the heart. Uh, there is a new beginning with love. For some of you, new love is coming up or it's ref it's like a renewal of it, okay? Um, but some, I feel of you, I feel you're kind of still reminiscing you're living in the past. You're kind of holding on to something. This is a, a time for forgiveness. It's, um, it's important to kind of let go and move forward. It's kind of holding you back. You're lacking some kind of playfulness. Um, that's kind of, it's creating a block. So it's time to move forward, okay? For some of you, if you're young, like young or you've been living with your parents, you could be leaving home. Or if you're already an adult, you could be like reminiscing when you were like young and when you did leave home and, and started on your own. All right, there's an, a sense of independence or feeling that energy, like how it would be if I was independent. I mean, it's a general reading, so I'm seeing that energy. So there's something here about living in the past and needing to let go. Okay, it is a week to follow your heart though, okay? I do see for some of you, this could be relationships and taking it to another, well, talks of this more of a serious relationship or talks of marriage, or maybe you're just thinking of marriage. Okay, so I do feel that energy. Manifestation is high this week too. You can manifest, um, expect kind of sudden changes, but this is manifesting things in quickly. You maybe want to be more alone this week too. You work better alone, um, taking time for yourself. I do see a lot of study here. For some of you, you have a lot of mentors around too who kind of get you gum to help you go. For some of you, this could be a change of direction with career or maybe you want to change your major if you're in school. And this is like going into teaching. Um, something like that is showing up. So I do feel that energy. You need to trust where you're being led. I do feel that kind of energy. Wisdom is very important this week as well. Um, I do see here some of you are really focusing on affirmations, prayers, and I do see um, wish fulfillment. Okay, comes with delay, but it's a wish fulfillment. Very nice energy. This is seeing some sparks and miracles this week too. You're in the spotlight. Okay, so I do see that energy too. Um, so it's like people kind of gravitate to you. For some of you, you don't want to be in the spotlight. You're like, mm, I just, you know, this could be people asking you to go out. Uh, let's get together. You don't want, you want to be more alone. <laughs> okay, so seeing that kind of energy. For some of you, you have like a wish or a dream job or a, a, some kind of dream that you've been wanting. And it could start showing you kind of little footprints where to start heading. Now, like I said, following your heart this week is going to be important. I do see here, it's like a lack of trust in self, worry, or some of you are like, oh, I don't have the funds to do this. I'd like to do this, but I don't have the money. So this is money worries for some of you. Um, and it's kind of insecurities. Have faith, things are going to work out for you. Okay, so I do see that. That's just a, lo a lack of, um, uh, it's a low self-esteem thing too that I'm feeling here too. Okay, so it's like you have an up and down week.